Hey, what is up, my scrubs? Welcome uh, to another episode of Sally Face. This is episode four. I oh, I kind of started it last episode, so sorry about that. If you've missed any episodes, be sure to check them out. Uh, let's just say last episode made me never ever want to eat bologna ever again. So yeah, go check it out if you missed it. I'll link the playlist down below. So yeah, like I said, I kind of started episode four. Um, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to see where is this game gonna go because it's freaking crazy. Rick is shredding on the guitar. Yeah, the game doesn't tell you when the episodes are over sometimes, so like, I was just so confused, I didn't know what to do. I was like, when do I stop? I don't know. Why is it so bloody? <laughs> oh, it's just my sunny alarm. I'm awake already. Oh, do I gotta do all this all over again? Alright, well, we already did this last episode, so... I'm just gonna skip it. Alright, here we are. So, this is basically where we left off last episode. And yeah, sorry, I had to take away my green screen. It just... <laughs> it's not gonna work very well with this game, so... It's interesting, though, that we went forward in time, you know? So much has probably happened. Oh, I just realized there's a bunch of you... What the heck? Yup, there's freaking manly badass. There's freaking... So many YouTubers. All right, we just updated the lock, and I'm not sure what Todd set the new code to. Yeah, well, I sure don't know. Well, I guess we better go find it then. All right, let's look upstairs. What's upstairs? Who are you? Oh, is this, like, not my house? It's like a dorm? Uh, Neil. Morning, Sally. Oh, what's happening? Hey, Neil. No pigtails today, huh? I don't even think I've seen you with your hair down. I almost didn't recognize you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You feeling all right, man? You seem out of it. Uh, nightmares keeping me up. Sorry to hear that. It could be stress. I have trouble sleeping when I'm stressed out, too. Anything you want to talk about? No, you're right. It's probably just stress. There's a fresh pot of coffee downstairs. You should have a cup. It'll do you good. I never start the day without my caffeine fix. I'm guilty. I can't do, I can't do it either. I'm officially an adult. Thanks. Maybe I will. Not a problem, sally -o. Uh, have you seen my cell phone? I can't find it anywhere. Oh yeah, I found it outside last night on the porch. I didn't want to leave it there, so I brought it in. Almost forgot I had it. Thanks, I didn't realize I left it outside. No worries, happens to the best of us. Here you go, man. Uh, where's Todd? Uh, he has class this morning. All right. Uh, how goes the uh, ghost hunting? Todd was, uh, saying that it's been pretty slow lately on that front. Slow? I wish, uh, I mean, yeah, slow. Yeah, oh, it's been very slow. You boys are trying to keep me protected again, aren't you? It's sweet, but you know I can handle myself, right? Plus, I am two years older than y'all, too. Uh, no, I know. It's just that we... Yeah, yeah, four friends made a pact five years ago, and I can respect the loyalty behind that. Actually, I think it's pretty dang cute. They have... You have no idea! Oh, crap, I didn't realize my face was... Sorry. Speaking of cute, I heard that the lovely Ash was coming down today. The lone wolf of the four horsemen returns. Are you excited? We're supposed to catch up this afternoon. So that's a no on the excitement then. I'll put my face here. Hopefully that's fine. No, I can't wait to see her. I'm just, you know, feeling tired today. There's still coffee downstairs calling your name. Sally Face, come get some. <laughs> okay. Do you hear the strange noises? Um, you're gonna have to be a bit more specific, Mr. Sleepyhead. Last night I thought I heard something like a weird siren. I didn't hear anything like that. Maybe Gizmo was up watching TV? It's so weird that that cat watches TV. No, it wasn't that. It was kind of like, uh, never mind. Probably just the nightmares. Just the wind. Gosh, man, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm good. How's work? Ah, shoot, work? I'm supposed to cover the morning shift today. Gotta run, Sally. Yo, catch you later. Are you late? Alright, so this is obviously where Todd is. So we're with Todd. There's the note from Todd to me. Hey, there's the code. Uh, cool. Got it. Yo, what year is this? <laughs> Myself, it reminds me of the old walkie-talkie days. The battery is dead. Good old days before the iPhones, man. What is in here? Huh? Nothing? Oh, there we go. Cool. Charging the phone. Yeah, that's right, guys. You never know where I'm gonna appear next. Gotta keep you on your toes. Oh, here's the bathroom. Hey, what about a Game Boy thing? Where's it at? Did we get rid of it? I have so many questions. Okay, 4035364. Oh, five, three, six, four. I was putting it wrong. <laughs> that is my bad. 
Oh, so there's like the freaking lair where they do all the mysteries and stuff. Workstation. It was cool of Rob to give us some funds for the new equipment, but he found out that we, what we were up to basically uh, thought we were real life ghost snappers. We're basically Scooby Doo. Is the cult still operating? If so, then where are they are? Where are they all? Wait, the cult? Oh yeah, the cult of like the. Okay, makes sense. I can't believe we've been working at this for five years now. It feels like the more connections we find, the less sense it all makes. That's why they say ignorance is bliss, right? You just too much, you just have more questions. Too much information, you have more questions. Huh? What is this loose tape? Oh. Surprising. Yeah, I knew we would be coming back here. I saw the faded shape of a man. There's something important about him. I could feel it. It's like a distant memory, itching at the back of my skull. His image is uh, fleeting. It flickers in and out of view, as if, as if it's trapped in a parallel reality, a phantom just out of reach. Or perhaps I am the phantom and he resides in the land of the living. I've cried for his attention, but I don't think that he can see or hear me. Okay, well. Sure, I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, there's that coffee. Lil Neil loves this stuff, but I hate the taste. No thanks. I, I understand why people don't like coffee, but it's so good. I just love to smell it. I just want to smell it. It's so bright outside. Okay, I'm not sure where we're supposed to be going, though. Oh, probably get my phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like it's charged now. There's a new message from Larry. Okay, so Larry is still alive at this point. That's not a spoiler to say he dies because it's... I mean, we already know that from the story that he dies. My cell phone reminds me of the old... Wa oh. Are you awake? <laughs> Horizon? And now, what's up? Uh, something is wrong. Uh, w. Addison a Apartments. Other than ghosts and creepy basements? Uh, I'm serious. I'm coming over. Give me a few minutes. Uh, K, text me when you're ready. Ready. I, I don't know if it's just me. I actually miss having buttons. If you're old enough to remember having buttons on your cell phone, maybe, maybe you miss them too. Because it was so easy to text without looking. Like, you could still do it, but it's not nearly as easy as it used to be, because you used to feel like a keyboard. Kinda miss it. Oh, jeez. Oh, now is where it says episode 4. That's why I was so confused. Finally going on trial. So, like, we look a little older here, huh? Hmm. This all that that. That, this all seems to be a dramatic change from your original story, Mr. Fisher. Isn't it true you had initially stated that you were not in contact with Larry Johnson? Yes. So you admit to lying in your original statements. That's a crime. How to get that thumbnail. Yes, I was in shock from what happened and thought that the truth would be more harmful. That no one would believe me. I didn't know what else to do. And now we can trust anything you say now? Uh, how are we to decipher what is true and what is a lie? All I have left is the truth. It's important that people hear what I have to say. Whether they believe in it or not. Well, I hope for their sake that they do. Is that a threat? It's a warning. Would you have believed uh, that there is still a killer on the loose in uh, Knockfell? That all of the evidence presented today, the victim's blood on your clothes and skin, your fingerprints on the murder weapon, the security footage, the eyewitness accounts. Okay, well that is pretty convincing uh, evidence. <laughs> that all these things were some elaborate cover-up. Created by who? The country, uh, our county police department? Oh, is that what's his face back there? If it's alright with the board, I'd like to continue my testimony. It's important that the story be told chrono- uh, not- I- I can't say that word. Chronologically. In order to prevent details from being taken out of context, well, more so than they have been already. I'll allow it. Please continue with your testimony, Mr. Fisher. Uh, but realize we will expect answers to these questions the prosecution has presented. Everything will be answered. Then proceed. It all started with... Oh wow, Larry, you ain't looking so good right now. Or is he looking the same and I just don't remember? <clears throat> he looks a little different. Is he buffer? I really don't know. I'm telling you, dude, something is seriously wrong. Did you see the demon again? No, I haven't seen it since we blasted it years ago. I even went through every inch of the building this morning with the super gear boy and found nothing. 
Oh, so you have the super gear boy. All the ghosts have been missing for weeks. That is a little odd, though, uh, who's to say it's a bad thing? Maybe we were able to finally pass on. Or they were. I don't know, man. I've been getting this horrible feeling, like something's under my skin crawling around itching at the back of my skull. It's like the quiet before the storm or some crap. I can feel it. Uh, what? Deja vu. I've been getting that feeling too, like everything is foggy and there's something there just beyond the fog just waiting. Yes, exactly. Whatever it is, it's coming from the apartment. So are you going to come check it out or what? Of course I will. Oh, we're going back to the apartments again? Should we get Todd? He has class today. All right, I was hoping we... <laughs> I don't know, never mind. They're not going to continue that. Knockville Homes, affordable homes in the beautiful uh, Hillside District. Okay, so it's not finished yet. Oh, it's a nice roadkill on the side. The guitar buzz are finally done, but Todd hasn't shown me how to use it yet. What, what, are we use, what do they use that for? A ghost? Never Oak Cemetery. He has been working on something, but I don't think... Okay, he keeps saying the same thing. Phelps Ministry. The guitar mods... Okay, I, I gotta stop reading it. God sees all. Is this all foreshadowing? Like, what is this? Oh, wow. Okay. So, is this like in the countryside? He has been... I keep... Stop reading it! Yeah, I'd like to keep my guitar in one piece. Uh, okay. Looks like you were right about the storm. All right, let's do this. Right behind you. Dude, it looks exactly the same. Mr. Addison's been st uh, storing this stuff in here for so long, I bet he doesn't even remember what's in all these boxes. They're probably filled with stuff uh, when his family was alive. Yeah, some of them are. The rest is like old clothes, old teeth sets, cookbooks, just a bunch of old uh, junk. Larry, what? You stooped through Terrence's things? Well, yeah, dude, how, would I, how could I not? The guy never leaves his room. Plus, I also wanted to make sure he wasn't involved in the cults or hiding bodies in here or anything weird. That does happen, right? But it's all just normal, boring old man stuff. Fair enough, I guess. I don't blame- I, I would search everyone up in there, like, seriously. No one can be trusted. Oh, Addison tea is now 50, 50 cents a cup? Man! Oh, wait, no, I think it always was. Oh, it's just 25. <laughs> I was like, dang you, inflation! Well, good morning, young sirs. How are you two doing on this fine day? We're doing okay. How about you? I'm just wonderful. Things have been so peaceful in the building. Though, of course, we do miss having our dear uh, Sal Fisher with us. And I'll be sad to see Larry going as well. I'll miss it here too, but it'll be nice to get out of the basement. Plus, we're only uh, right down the road. I understand. Our young lads are all grown up now and ready for the next stage of their lives. I'm excited for you both. You know, I wish you boys uh, nothing but the best. You truly deserve it. Thanks. Thank you, Terrence. Terrence is nice. He's always been nice. A little weird, but nice. Wait, why did they leave all Rosenberg stuff in here again? Addison still thinks that uh, she's on vacation or something and she'll come back. I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, is this the old lady? Or man, I really couldn't tell you. I'm not really sure what happened to her. You said she just like disappeared, right? Yeah, but it was more than that. She appeared as a ghost before vanishing. I don't think she was fully human. All right, I remember you saying that. And she was in the cult for a while, but then stopped them or tried to stop them, which would have made her super old. Oh. Is she a demon? But she looks so human. Maybe it was a spell or some kind of trick. I'm not sure. How else uh, would she have disappeared like she did? If she died, she didn't leave a, a, a body. I don't know, dude, but if she was a demon or part demon, then I'm glad she's gone. I don't think she was evil. It's just different. You can say that again. Are you getting any hits on the super gear boy in here? Nothing. Alright. So, really just kind of exploring things for no good reason. Mr. Gibson's place. Or Miss Gibson. Oh God, the freaking weird lady. What do you want, Sal? Uh, why is he here? Uh, hey, Mrs. Gibson. We were... Well, that's a... That's that's about on par. <laughs> the lady sure can hold a grudge. I forgot what they did to her. Maybe we don't know yet. How's Sal's dad doing? Let's, find, let's figure that out. Was it on the fourth floor or third floor? What happened here? Oh, sorry. We didn't uh, realize anyone was in here. Mr. Sanderson? Hi, Larry. I was just saying goodbye to Sandy. Saying goodbye? 
I'm leaving Knockville tonight. I just need to leave this place. Uh, it's understandable, man. You've been through a lot. Have you? This may sound a bit odd, but have either of you seen my wife around? I don't know if you believe in ghosts. I guess I was just hoping I could speak to her once more. Uh, we have seen her? Oh, gee, I was afraid of this. How is my angel doing? I haven't been able to contact her at all. She misses you a lot. She's lonely here, but we haven't seen her for a little while. My poor Sandy. Uh, she didn't deserve this. Uh, what is it that you were afraid of? You said I was afraid of this. Uh, never mind. I'm just upset. That's all. Would you please do me a favor? Just give me a moment alone here. Sure, Mr. Sanderson. That's no problem. Let us know if you need anything. Thank you. What? What was that about? What is up with these rooms? There's a tape, but it's broken. Okay. Well, it's quite obvious someone probably ripped the camera off or something. Dad and Lisa. Lisa? Who's Lisa? Oh, what? What? He has a blue beard? <laughs> That's what I'm most... They got... Re he got remarried? Look at the wedding pictures. Yo. Wait, wouldn't that make us like brother-in-laws? Kind of? Right? That is crazy. Now I'm just even more concerned to like, wh why does Larry die? And like, I think... I think they stopped being friends. Like, I don't know what happened. Hey, Dad. Hey, Lisa. Hey, guys. Hi, fellas. Uh, when's the last time we had the entire family together like this? I'm like a couple weeks ago. Uh, we should have dinner tonight. Uh, come on. Or together tonight. What do you say, boys? Lisa is going to show me the secret to making her lasagna. Uh, your lasagna is the best, Lisa. Thank you, sweetie. I'm not going to say no to free dinner. Actually, I have plans tonight. But if I'm done early, I'll come over. Okay, we'll have Larry instant message you or whatever you kids do once dinner is ready. It's called texting, Dad. <laughs> Right, right, that. Sounds good. Now kids just TikTok each other. They're like, hey, I'm done with whatever I'm doing. <laughs> but except with more dancing and sounds and memes. That's that's how I'm gonna sound like his old man. That's crazy. So does so did they live together for a while? I am assuming yes. And who's in the basement now? You know, that's good. That's good for Sal's dad, cause like you could tell he was lonely, man. He, he needed he needed someone good. Good for him. Oh god, I can't look at these trash cans the same. All right, you know what? Let's check out the basement. If Larry doesn't live there, who who's there? <laughs> it's weird uh, to be leaving after living here for so long. I felt that way when we left New Jersey, but it was a change I didn't know I needed at the time, so I'm glad it worked out the way that it did. Yeah, it'll be awesome to room with you and Todd. I can't wait for that, honestly. Still, and I know I'm not going uh, far, but it's still a little sad for me for some reason. It's a big change, Larry. It's okay to feel emotional about it. Yeah, when you first move out on your own, um, when I had first moved out, like, from, you know, my sisters, that's who I lived with, it, it's really weird that first night when you go to sleep and it's like you're in a different spot spot even though like I wasn't that far it's still kind of scary you know what I mean you okay yeah I'm cool let's keep looking around Larry's room do you remember the first time I saw you without your mask how could I forget you were headbanging so hard it flew right off and whacked me in the face you were so worried about my bloody nose that it didn't even uh, that you didn't even notice at first I felt bad yeah, but once I told you I was fine, uh, why did you cry? Because you didn't look away. Dang. I just want to know what's under the mask. Honestly. Not even a dream joke at this point. I feel like someone's gonna die at the end of this episode, though. I still can't believe my dad abandoned us. It doesn't feel like him. It doesn't feel real. Um, I, uh, don't. I know there's something you've been keeping from me, Sal. Something about my dad. You're horrible at keeping secrets. It's okay, man. I haven't mentioned it before because I trust if you're keeping something from me, it's because you have to, right? Tell the truth. Why would we lie to him? Looks, uh, it, look, it's been hard to keep this from you, but I, I couldn't be sure that what was real and what wasn't. I didn't want to upset you, but I think your dad has been contacting me somehow. What? I'm not sure if it's really him or not. That's why I haven't brought it up. Plus, he told me to keep you safe and not to tell you about him. He says that if uh, you knew the truth, it would put you in danger. Oh, I think we just killed freaking Larry. If it's your father, then I, uh, well, I don't think that he's 100% human, but the important thing is that he didn't abandon you. 
He sacrificed himself to try and stop the cult to protect you and Lisa. He loved you both more than anything. What do you mean he's not human? It's kind of hard to explain, but I think your dad was an alien or something. Crash landed here after losing his home planet to a plague of shadows. Okay. He was with his sister, Evelyn, but she died in the crash or got lost or something. He wasn't really clear about what happened to her. Aren't you going to say anything about all this? You know, you don't have to make up some crazy story to make my dad into a hero. An aliens really, dude? That didn't help your story at all. Yeah, even I, that, that's when it lost me too. I'm telling you the truth, Larry, I swear. All right, dude, it's fine. Can we just drop this for now? Okay, but we're gonna talk about this more later. I'm not making this up. Well, yeah, with this story, I would believe it, I guess. With the way things have been going. Oh yeah, this is the place with the secret freaking entrance, huh? Yeah. the heck was that? Uh, it's a tooth. Gross, dude. You picked it up with your bare hand? I'm not just gonna leave it here. What if we need it or something? What could we possibly need someone's tooth for? Hi, I'm Sullyface, and this is my friend Larry. We research paranormal and occult activity in the town of Knockfell, where everything weird can and does happen. Good point. Oh, it has a freaking symbol on it. That's definitely important. <laughs> you ever find a tooth with a symbol on it? That's when you know keep it. Crap, I must have dropped the key somewhere this morning when I was looking around. When was the last time you remember having it? I have no idea. I could have sworn it was still in my pocket. I'm sure it'll show up somewhere. Oh, so we, now we gotta find the key again. Kind of important, right? Like, why would you drop it? Ugh, look at this green slime. What is this, Nickelodeon? <laughs> I miss the old days when that was like the coolest thing ever. Nickelodeon slime. I think we all wanted to be splashed with Nickelodeon slime. I have no idea what it's made out of. <laughs> Probably wouldn't want to know. Alright, what about the fifth floor? Where all the crazy crap looks like all run down and stuff. We have to search for the person that's missing the tubes. <laughs> Is that a... I was like, wait a minute. I I saw the tape. Oh, so we got to be finding all these. We got lost phantom hunger. Yeah, oh. Hunger has been tearing at my stomach and yet I don't die. How long has it been? It's impossible to tell in this endless night. How long must I rot in this freaking prison? No food, no light, no sleep, no contact, nothing. Nothing. Just glimpses of life beyond my reach. I wish they would open that gosh dang vortex already. I wish they would tear this world apart. I wish this would all end. I need this to end. Okay, well, I mean, we still don't know. Are you missing a tooth, lady? Megan? Megan. Hello, are you with us? Nothing, uh, on the super gear board. Gear boy. Hey, uh, where did the necklace go? I didn't notice it was gone before. That's weird. That's why she's not coming out. What about the rest of them? I don't know. Somebody is sabotaging us. Oh, so Larry removed the boards. I accidentally skipped it. Okay, let's double check in here. Oh, it's definitely somewhere where we need to go. Uh, Stacy, are you there? Nothing on the gear boy. Stacy was always difficult to summon, so I'm not surprised she's not showing up now. True. I hope she's at least with Megan. Okay, I have a feeling we're gonna have to come back in there, but there was nothing in there as of now. Uh, wait, what? Looks like there's a hidden panel on the bottom of the birdcage. I never noticed it before. That's weird. There's a loose screw on it, almost like someone had tried to open it. Oh yeah, what the heck? I'll need a screwdriver or something to open this. Maybe the tooth will work. Okay, got it. Gotta need a screwdriver. Holy crap, pickle! Oh my god, you've made a mistake. What the heck, man? The end will be us all. What does that even mean? You can't be studying in here or staying in here. He's not studying. <laughs> the darkness binds. That was like from the first episode we saw that guy. Dude, scare the crap out of me. I've caught that bump sleeping here before too. I wonder what he meant. It just sounded like crazy gibberish to me, man. Uh, I doubt that. What are, another tooth? Maybe it's a clue or something. What is this? Blues clues? Devil stuff? Alright, so there's five teeth. Oh, Robert's place? Evil 
Bread? <laughs> Who are you? Oh, what? Hey, uh, there's my ghost nabbers. Hey, dude. Uh, hey, Rob. How goes the hunting? Uh, that's top secret. <laughs> Sally, my man, I'm an investor. You can't share even a little detail with me? Actually, we're looking into something right now. That's why we're here. Have you seen anything strange lately? Anything at all? Hmm, well, I got this weird rash on my left foot. If you guys could take a whiff and let me know what you... Oh, um, I don't think we're really qualified for that. I'm just freaking with you. My, my feet are fine. If they're still fine, why don't you marry them? Yeah, hi, Larry, you freaking nutter. Keep me posted, fellas. Yo, why does he have freaking money just hanging out of a safe? All right, we've got to check the third floor. I'll start this way. We'll start, we'll start at the end. CJ's place? Oh. Uh, yo, what's up, guys? Yo, yeah, they were just the college students before. Hey, CJ, are you having a party tonight or something? Nah, but Z and, uh, Z. Did you say Z? I think the tooth has a Z on it. Z and Sierra are coming over later. Gonna be like old times. You two should stop by if you can. Sounds cool. We'll keep that in mind. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, no, I was wrong. It's a W and an N. Or that could be a Z. Oh, I love this guy. Hey, Sal. Uh, hey, Larry. What are you getting up to? <laughs> hey, David, we're just checking in on everyone. How are things going? That's awfully kind of use, but I'm afraid I can't talk too much at the moment. Sarah isn't feeling well, wool, you see, so I gotta take care of her. Sorry to hear that. Hope she gets well soon. We'll be around if you need anything. Thanks, you. Thanks, you both. I, just, I don't know why I love the way he talks. Chug's place. How's Chug doing? Oh, what the heck? He just looks... Who does he remind me of? He, re <laughs> he reminds me of that guy from David Dobrik's, like, vlog squad. Um, Jonah? I mean, I don't watch him too often, but, like, I've seen him. Yo, was that his, like, wife? Hey, guys. Hi, Sal. Uh, Larry. Uh, Sawi Faus. What? <laughs> oh, Sawi Faus. <laughs> oh, the, the, the soda. You named your kid Soda, Chug, and Maple? What? <laughs> Nope, cola What the heck? Oh, dude. Kill that freaking Furby before it comes to life. Hey, you two look like you're up to no good, as usual. Well, glad to see some things uh, stay the same. Oh, are you guys working uh, another one of your secret cases? It wouldn't be a secret if we told you now, would it? I suppose not. Uh, how are you two? We're good. You know, ups and downs. It's mostly good, though. Yeah, have you uh, seen Sal? Haven't seen him around in a while. I've been keeping busy uh, with school and whatnot, so Chug, I heard you, your parents moved out. <coughs> They left a few months ago, too crowded in here with all of us, plus they wanted to give us privacy. It's been nice. That was nice of them to give you guys the apartments. Uh, the apartment. That reminds me, I'm supposed to go visit my parents tonight. Are you okay to watch Soda while I'm gone, babe? Of course. Notice anything weird? It's been nice and ghost-free. No spooky stuff for us. Let's hope it stays that way. See ya. I swear, Chuck never says anything worth value, man. Hey, Soda, how's my best baby doing? Uh, wanna go for a ride on Uncle Sal's shoulders? Ah, uh, Sal's so nice. Sal, she has a bit of a rash right now. You might not want to pick her up. Thanks for the heads up. Mommy? Yes, love? I want to ride on Uncle Sal's shoulders. <laughs> not today, Muffin. Okay, remember what I said this morning. Okay. Ah, uh, don't worry, little so. If you, uh, little so, I get it now. If you take the medicine you got from the doctor this morning, we'll have you flying around in no time. Promise? <laughs> I promise. You bet. Soda is kind of adorable, though. I ain't even gonna lie. It's just so funny they named their kid Soda. 304. Why is the door open? The heck? Another tooth! The tooth will set you free? <laughs> dude, dude, no. No, that is a dumb joke I would make. Except I'm not even that clever. Either we have a freaking evil dentist on the loose? Or someone got into a fight. I don't know. Or the Tooth Fairy has gone crazy. Packerton's old place. Man, it reeks in here. Yeah, it does. Wait, is this that place we came with the... Uh, uh, blood stain. Getting any readings on the Gear Boy here? Nope, even your little goat buddy is hiding. Yeah, this is that freaking place where all those diapers and stuff.
I feel bad for anyone that moves in this apartment. Oh god, I can't. Oh, he just left? Yeah, someone dropping deuces in the freaking bathroom, dude. They left it in here. I would, if I was a landlord, I'd keep their deposit for just for doing that. I wonder what they did with uh, Mr. Packerton's body. Well, at least he wasn't served as lunch meats. Yeah, hopefully not. They should shut that school down. No way. There's a tear in the carpet. I can't pull it up by hand, though. Okay, we, we really need that screwdriver. Oh, there's got to be a tool in here, right? I should have known those guys weren't real cops. I had a really weird feeling about them. I don't know how they cleared the space out overnight with just the two of them. They were definitely the same dudes pretending to be the cops when Mrs. Sanderson died, too. I saw them leaving in the morning. I saw them, too, remember? Yeah, maybe that's why they came overnight, because they knew we'd recognize them somehow. Todd still hasn't been able to figure out the true identities, though, huh? No, but I could have sworn I saw one of them going into a church a few weeks ago. I'd be keeping an eye out on every day now. They've been having a lot of meetings over here. That's like a normal church thing, though. Meetings and whatnot could be nothing or it could be something. That church did always give me the creeps. We uh, went up to Chapel Hill a few times for holidays when I was younger. I've been talking to Todd about setting up some hidden cameras and audio recorders up there just to check it out. Cool, I'm down for some good old B.E. B.E. Breaking and entering? Come on, dude. Oh, right, of course. Yeah, I know about that. Oh, Todd's place. Okay. Janice, you don't look so good. Sally Face and Larry Bear. This is a pleasant surprise. Hi, Janice. Hey, uh, what brings you two here? Looking for ghosts? You boys and my Todd are like peas in a pod, aren't you? Hey, that rhymes. Have you seen anything weird lately? All the time, Sally. Life is full of things, both strange and beautiful. Don't you think? Definitely. Yeah, she definitely doesn't know anything. She wouldn't know a ghost if she saw one. Todd's old room. Okay, well, I can't show this room. We just have to zoom it in on this guy here. <laughs> hey, guys. Larry, are you back from war already? Uh, no, nah, I'm cool, Ray. Thanks. Hey, Mr. Morrison. Sal, have you seen the garden yet? Uh, what did you think? It's a bit much. Always a big jokester, this guy. That's why we love you, Sal. I know Todd isn't super fond of the fact that we turned his old bedroom into a garden, but he knows how happy it makes us. I like how they just say that. He also knows that nothing will fill the Todd-shaped hole in our hearts. He's lucky to have such loving parents and such good friends. I'm so dang proud of all you boys. I gotta get out of here. Did those boys just go into the bathroom together? Greg? Are you here? Hello? Uh, not getting anything on the Super Gear Boy. <laughs> I like how they call it. That's funny how they, they called that out. Oh, I'm glad I actually came in here. You want the tooth? You can't handle the tooth. <laughs> Larry, you gotta stop, dude. Oh, this one's nasty. It's all burnt up. Anything in 203? Any teeth? Oh. A pocket knife. Score. Nice. That could have come in handy. Can we use that for the screwdriver? Oh, yes. Yeah, it definitely is. It's a freaking one of those Swiss army things. Did you see on the news that they said Charlie was going to be released? I did, but that's not the real Charlie. Uh, where do you think he is now? The real Charlie, I mean. Most likely the cult promise uh, probably has him killed, had him killed. Wow. Most likely the cult uh, probably has him or killed him. Maybe he ended up in the baloney. As much as I didn't get along with that dude, no one deserves to be made into baloney. Uh, Charlie was a little strange, but he was a good guy. I was starting to like him before we thought he was a murderer. Man, we kind of screwed him over, didn't we? It wasn't our fault. We wouldn't have known. And you saw him kill her with your own eyes. I still have nightmares about that. All right, we got to go back to that carpet. Will it work now? Yeah, all right. Oh, come on. Well, we're gonna come back here. Okay, this should work. Bada bing, bada boom. Made in China. Oh, I put the teeth here. Oh, no. Oh, okay. North? So, yeah, this it has to be the one in the middle. Or maybe this one goes in the middle. Okay, uh, I don't know where the last one could be. Oh, hey. Oh, I, okay. Cool, cool. What, no stupid pun this time? I couldn't really think of any to tell you the tooth. <laughs> I like how it's all with the word truth. Okay, so that's east. Alright, got it, got it, got it, got it. It, it, made, it made a noise. What does it mean? It's gotta be it, right? 
Wait, don't tell me that the red means north and I, it's upside down. So that means north would be up here. Oh, because yeah, the, the, the sticker's upside down, so that actually does make sense. Hey, I am so smart. Whoa, I think I found that key you lost. I didn't lose it, I just, wait, where'd you even, where'd that even come from? I didn't even put it in there. Someone wanted us to find this. They couldn't have just like slipped it under my door or put it in my mailbox or something. Reality is a tangled web. What? Never mind. We got the key now. Let's go back and check on the temple. I don't know where this room's at. I, I went in it. The basement! All right. This took me so long to freaking find. I don't know why, but here we go. I don't know why, but I think the bait is going to be blocked or something. Two hours later. Everything seems normal here, Larry. For a well, normal for Addison apartments, at least. What about all those teeth and the glowing birdcage thing in the key? I guess that was a little odd. This feeling won't go away either. Something bad is coming, dude. I don't know what, but I can feel it. You may be right. I'll fill Todd in when he's home. We can uh, go over later tonight with this gadget. Okay, when is he out of class? He should be out by now. I'm supposed to meet up with Ash, remember? All right, you should bring her along. I think we should go easy on her for now with the paranormal stuff. That's true. Last time she attacked long, things didn't go too well. Man, that was like a year ago now. It seems like every year just goes by faster and faster. So it's only been one year. Okay. They definitely do. Also, don't forget that we're all get, uh, getting together for dinner tomorrow night. How could I forget? Between you and Ash, I got about a thousand texts about it. Okay. Well, I was wrong. It was not blocked off. Hey, Ashley. Sal. I'm so excited to see you. I've missed you so much. Aw, friends. Are they friends? <laughs> I miss you too, Ash. You cut your hair. I like it. Thanks. It's easier for riding. Oh, she did. She has a motorcycle? Sweet. I see you changed your hair as well. Yeah, I guess. Looks rad, though. I kind of do miss the pigtails. Oh, wow. They zoom in. I haven't been uh, to the lake since the last time we went there together. What's that? <laughs> I said it's been a long time since I've been to the lake. Me too! It's so nice out here, out there! Peaceful! I feel like every, like... Every, like, paranormal movie where there's, like, kids investigating things has a lake. <laughs> so you and Ben are all good now? Yeah, we're good. What was that all about anyway? Stupid sibling stuff. He called me soulless because I didn't cry at grandma's funeral. Hey, I relate to that though. Like, um, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes when, I don't know, have you ever been in a situation where you feel like you should be crying, but you just don't, you know, I, I feel like that sometimes. He said I wasn't human because I never cry and blah, blah, blah. Then it turned into a big argument as if I wasn't sad enough about grandma. Anyway, the point is that we made up. We're okay now. You know, that now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever seen you cry. Well, I must be so, some kind of soulless monster. Grr, arr. You better watch out. We kill monsters like you around these parts. No, you better watch out. This ain't no monster y'all want to be messing with. Them's is fighting words, Missy. I hope you kissed your mama goodbye this morning. <laughs> Have you been, Sally Face? Uh, good. That's good to hear, though. I've been. I probably should have said the nightmares. I get the feeling that uh, that's not the full truth. Things have been mostly good. I just. I guess I didn't want to weigh you down with my stuff. So we're best friends. That's what I'm here for. Don't be silly. So go on. Crush me with your weight. And I've said this before, but you know you don't have to wear that around me. My face? Your mask. <laughs> but it's like part of me now. It's like the face I wear in public. The face I wear all the time. I just want you to know that you don't have to wear it if you don't want to. It's just you and me out here, so no one else is around. Are you really back for good? Yeah, you got a problem with that, bucko? Uh, I don't know, it's kind of nice with just the boys adding a girl to the mix sort of throws the whole thing off. Well, yeah, you better get used to it because you're, now you're stuck with me. I missed you, Ash. We all have. It's nice to have you back. Good to be back. I miss you guys a lot. I'm excited to see everyone tomorrow. Uh, what about art school? I guess I'm going to take some time off school. I'm feeling pretty burned out. Do you think you'll go back? Probably. I just need to figure some things out first. I might take a few classes at the community college while I'm getting my crap together. Well, that'd be cool. Larry is also thinking about going. He mentioned that I was surprised I didn't think he'd go to the college route. Me neither. 
It could be like old times again. The whole crew back at school. Are you happy? Happy with what? Everything? Life? I don't know. That's a hard question. Even though I've had a hard time lately, I try to find things that make me happy. Things that are worth pursuing. Otherwise, what's the point, you know? Yeah, I'm happy right now. Are you sure you're okay, Sal? I'm getting a little worried about you. I don't know. I guess I'm feeling off. I just feel it feels like things, everything is wrong. Uh, what do you mean? It feels like nothing puts me at ease. It's the constant feeling of discomfort like my soul isn't aligned with my body. I just feel like screaming at the sky until it breaks apart. That's deep. <laughs> well, what? Let's do it. I don't know. Come on, I bet you'll feel better. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I was just like, what are they talking about? Okay. Oh, I actually got to hear our voice. Kinda. Oh, Todd, hi! You're back from the date with your date with Ashley already? I don't think it was a date, but yeah. Whatever you say, Sal, so how did it go? It was nice seeing her. It's gonna be good having her back. Indeed, Ashley is a good egg, and our investigations could benefit from the female perspective. All nerdy. Additionally, simply having fresh eyes on our research could prove useful. Speaking of, Larry and I think that there's something weird going on in the apartments again. I told him that I'd bring you over tonight to check it out. Perfect. This will give me an opportunity to test the new things I've been working on. Give me a few minutes to get ready. Sure, let me know when you're ready. Uh, gonna head over. Will do. I probably read that wrong. Oh, well. Sal, I'm sorry, dude. Please don't blame yourself. For what? It's time for me to go. You better not be doing anything stupid. It's too late. I'll be gone soon. Stop messing around, Larry. This isn't funny. Hey. Larry? Yo, what is happening? Pick up. Pick up the phone, Larry. You better pick up. Oh god, Larry. Yo, what the heck? Oh dang, we run it now. Yo, what do you think we got caught? Either that or like God sees all. It's like they want us to see these messages again. I don't know. Let's check the treehouse, I guess. Larry! Oh, God. Wait, Larry's room. They just teleported us here. Where the hell are you? Ah, oh, dude. Do not do what I think you're gonna do, game. What was that? You just like grabbed it all of a sudden. No! Larry, what did you do? Why? Wait, what just happened? What happened? What was that? I didn't even know what I picked up. I was so excited to see Sal, I didn't realize how different he was acting at first. When we were hanging out by Wendigo Lake, I started to notice him more at the time though. He just seemed sad to me. Ashley, what the heck? I thought maybe he had stopped talking or taking his medications. Miss Campbell, at any point during your date with Sal, did you ever feel as if you were in danger or threatened at all? No sir, it was nothing like that. Sal was one of my, the sweetest boys I knew. I always felt safe being around him until later that night. What? Can you please explain what you witnessed at the treehouse? It wasn't too long after I'd gotten home from the lake that Sal called me, maybe about an hour or so. He was clearly shaken up, and I could tell from his voice that he had been crying. He told me that Larry was dead. What did I say? I felt like I felt like Larry was gonna die this episode. I didn't even see what like happened. I begged him to call 911. I told him that if he didn't, then I would. And did either of you call 911? No, the boys had me convinced since high school that there was a conspiracy in Knockville involving the police that they couldn't be trusted. So I went against my better judgment and didn't make the call. I rode over to the apartments right away. When I got to the treehouse, Sal was acting weird, talking to himself and pacing back and forth. 
Obviously, he was upset. We, were, we both were. But I had never seen him like that before. I tried to get him to calm down, but he kept rambling on about cultists and some impending evil. He said Larry was in the treehouse. I it took a minute to gather my nerves. I it wasn't sure what was going on, if Larry was really dead or if Sal had lost it. I went up into the treehouse, but there was nothing out of place in there except for an empty booze bottle. Have you ever known Sal to be a drinker? No, not at all. Sal hardly ever touched stuff. He once told me he was afraid to get drunk because the addiction ruin, runs in his family. And he didn't want to become an alcoholic, so I knew something was really wrong. Larry was, wasn't anywhere to be seen, and Sal was starting to really worry me. I tried to calm him down uh, and reason with him, but he was not receptive to it. I tried to get him inside, but he wouldn't budge. We got into the argument, and it was the only time he had ever we'd ever argued. I had to walk away from him. I couldn't be around him like that, and I didn't want to make him worse. Before I left, I let Henry and Lisa know that Sal needed help. They said they'd look after him, and I told him to call me if they needed me. I felt horrible leaving Sal like that. I just didn't know what to do. I wish I could have stayed there. Uh, I should have stayed with him. What happened? I sat by my phone all night until I got the second call. Yo, man. Yo, man. About 10 minutes after Ashley left, Todd showed up. He figured something was wrong since I left so suddenly and wasn't answering his texts. He drove over in the van with our gear. I told uh, Todd what Larry did. We both needed time to collect ourselves. Larry was our best friend. The four of us were like family, like I said earlier. Yeah, man. What happened to his body? I'm not sure. He's trying to tell me something, but it's all broken up. I think uh, he's having trouble communicating with us. Let's try out the new gear. I think it'll help. Hold on. All right, uh, with the Necrolite modifications I made to your guitar, I believe we'll be able to manipulate the spirit realm, manipulate the spirit realm in some capacity. How does it work? Uh, turn it on using that L button there. You'll notice that I've added 12 symbols to the neck of the guitar, playing the corresponding notes to activate the symbols. Play as you normally do. Select a group of notes and then press X, Y, or B to strum the notes in that group. Try playing all 12. What? Oh, Sal's note. Sal, I know this is going to be hard for you to understand. I'm sorry. Please don't blame yourself, and please don't hate me. I was lucky to have you in my life. I couldn't ask for a better brother than you, dude. I know you're going to be great. Things, uh... I know you're going to do great things. You gotta keep going. Keep fighting the darkness. It's coming closer. I can hear it whispering in my head. It's getting louder. I just need this to end, and I can't take it anymore. I'm not strong like you are. I love you, Sally Face. Always. See you on the other side, Larry. Bruh, come on, man. We still don't know exactly what happened to him, though. I mean, we don't we don't know for sure. Oh, what the heck? Oh, so we gotta play something special. I did something <laughs> like literally just messing around. What happened? Todd? Larry? Hello? Oh, that's disgusting. Hello, my dear Sally. Who are you, Rose? The light from your guitar contains magic from another world. It seems like the prophecy may have been true after all. What? There isn't time to explain. You must use this power to stop them. The devourers of God have preserved dis- the devourers of God have persevered despite our best efforts to stop them. What the heck was that? Alice and Rosenberg. A ripple across the fabric of reality that has begun. You must destroy the barrier spells to reach the source and put it into it. How will I do that? Use the power of the Necrolites. You'll need help from the spirit realm to reveal what is hidden to you. I cannot be of help in this regard, as I must remain within the Black Room. Though I can temporarily release your friend Larry from that which binds him. He will be your eyes on the other side. Godspeed, dear Sally. Sal! You scared the crap out of me. You disappeared and there was an intense sound that shook the treehouse. Where were you? I guess the guitar worked. I saw Rosenberg. She said the cult is back. We need to stop them before... Oh, dang. Oh, 
Larry, I think Rosenberg is helping us out. I was stuck in that dang tree house so long. It's only been a few hours since you, you, you a-hole. How could you do this? Why did you leave me? Why? I'm sorry, dude. I really am. But we don't have much time. Rose said the cult is here and now it has to be stopped tonight. It's not going to be easy. I just can't believe this is real. I can't believe you're really gone. Come on, Sal. Let's get these freakers once... <laughs> Sorry about my... <laughs> I mean, I would say it, but I don't think YouTube is going to like it. <laughs> I just feel like my, my censoring is taking away from the tone of the story, you know? Oh, God. Killer. This can't be good. Yeah, you don't say. Switch to Larry. Destroy the barrier spells. Larry, this is a dead zone. Press R to squeeze it tightly and summon the power from within. You must use this ancient relic to assist Sally. What does it do? Hello? Oh, I think I pressed the wrong button. Maybe now I can switch back to Sal? This can't be good. Okay, that didn't do anything. Oh, no, this turns off and on? Oh no. I, I think I broke it. Oh, now it's lit up. This can't be good. Okay. Do I play my guitar? I don't know, man. Oh. Oh, oh! Oh my god! Okay, I, did not, I don't think I played that time. Oh! No, 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 I did, I did. It's all those Guitar Hero skills, man. I guess leave the floor? I don't think there's any other reason to stay. Well, this is a little weird, huh? Oh, wait, I can't go down there? Oh. Oh my god, this looks crazy. The shapeless man walks in awkward strides. So he can see all the ghosts, I'm guessing. Doesn't work anymore. Oh, ghost. Are you two okay? What the heck is this? Mom, Henry? If you can hear me, we're gonna fix this. Just hold on. God, everything looks disgusting. Let's right, switch back to Sal. Yeah, look at their eyes. Was it like that before? I, I honestly can't remember. What are you guys doing? We're watching TV, but what's the point, really? These shows are all the same. Everything has become so predictable. It's just static. Are you two all right? We're fine. Just We're just fine, Sal. Everything is peachy. Okay. Yeah, that's a little weird. Okay. Oh, now that I turned it off, maybe we can go back. stand in front of the TV cell. I didn't think everything was wrong before, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, yeah, there's definitely some demons in here. <laughs> Hang in there, dude. Alright, so maybe now we gotta talk to uh, Robert. Or not. What? What? It didn't work before, now it works. Okay, got it. I was just so confused because you had to do the other one first.
do this in every floor now. Ugh. I don't even know what's going on in here. Oh, there's all these people. Okay. It's good to see you. Hello, Sal. What's happening? I'm glad you could make it. I can't stay for too long. I'm sort of in the middle of something. <laughs> I mean, did they not hear all that stuff? We're dandy. Everything is beachy. You should stay, Sal. It would be the best for you to stay here. There's no use in fighting, uh, fighting it, my friend. I really should be going now. Everything is fine. Don't worry, Sal. You will see. That's odd. Oh, change their... Wait! What about the... Wait, we needed a code! I forgot about the code thing! Oh, I don't even know what the code was. Maybe that? Maybe that's what we needed to do? I forgot about that code. Well, it's, it's too freaking late now. Okay, I don't know if I did anything. Oh, it's in the wrong room. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Cool. I accidentally figured that out. Oh, I've never actually been in here. What the heck has he got going on in here? He's married to a freaking mannequin? We must we must look for beyond the anguish of life, deep into the na true nature of all things. Therein lies our salvation. Okay, David, I know you don't talk like that. You say use. You didn't even say use one time. Moving on down. Oh god, Todd's parents' place? I don't even... I can only imagine what's gonna go, out, go on in here. Oh my god, I knew they... I knew something was up with them. Look at that. Before the light, there was darkness and nothing more. Okay. Oh, flush the toilet. Ugh, they're taking a dark poo-poo. <laughs> There's something floating in the toilet. I guess I should. Uh, you're a ghost. You don't have germs. 201 key. Okay. Alright. Alrighty then. Oh, well that looks weird. Nothing? Yeah, see look. Now I can't even input the code anymore. Crap. I hope it wasn't nothing that crazy. I just forgot about it, that's all. Oh. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, guitar our hero again! Oh, I'm getting real good at this now. Oh, God! Alright, one more floor, I'm guessing. Well, that thing's obviously gonna go down all the way to the freaking... It's gonna go down to probably further than the basement. Oh, it's locked. All right. Uh, hello, Mrs. Gibson? What is that? Uh, there's a rancid smell coming from her room. Oh, wait. Can I, oh, I can switch to Larry while the door's open. Oh, I can't go in? Can I just play it? I guess I can just play it then. Ah! God! This kid's so angry! What? I didn't, we didn't even do anything up here! It was just smelly! Oh, what? A young boy stands at the threshold of oblivion. Mesmerized by the eternal abyss. Tormented and bound by the world of mankind. Mr. Addison. Oh, we actually get to see him? Prisoner of flesh and bone. Ter Look at all those locks. Terrence? How long have you been like this? He's been the one causing the slime? Oh, the tea. It was all in the tea, wasn't it? It was so tasty. 
Oh, crap. What the heck? Did the cult do this to you? The child does not choose his own fate. It has always been this way. You will soon understand the true harmony of the Endless One. Are you the Endless One? Why are, why are you infecting the souls in this building? Darkness moves through all things and obeys our will. We are everlasting. We are beyond death. Terrence, I know you're here somewhere. You have to stop this. You speak the name of a child who is no more. Your struggle is meaningless. Looks like a Dark Souls boss. Then I will stop you myself. You will try and you will fail as it always is. That is not what I freaking expected. Oh, oh, it's a freaking boss battle? What? Uh. What the heck? This got freaking crazy. Uh. Freaking tunnel mood. Oh my god. All right. Uh. Woo! That was like too freaking close. Our last one. What is this, though? That's freaking annoying. Oh, it's just, it's just kind of like a pattern, huh? Woo! Bye bye, weird green monster! Oh, is that him as a kid? Terrence Addison. I've been waiting for you, Sal. I knew you would be the one. I knew from the moment I saw you. Terrence? My apologies, good sir. I have been quite myself and I've caused so much pain. Is it over now? Almost. I'm afraid there is one more task remaining, and is it a hideous one? Dude, they are not gonna believe this in court. Yeah, so I was falling down an elevator shaft, and I fought a green monster with my guitar. All right, you're going. You're going to prison. Uh, whatever it is, I will do it. Whatever it takes to end this for good. You must kill all those who have been tasted by the dark. But that's everyone in the building. Those are my friends and family. Uh, we fled the darkness from their souls. We've already saved them. I'm afraid it's too late for them, Sal. Their souls are destroyed beyond repair. If left and checked, the shadows will seep through the cracks and many more lives will be extinguished. My heart weighs heavy in sorrow for you. I know you will lose everything just as I had to. That's why he was covered? Holy crap, no way. I don't think I could do this. Please don't make me do this, Terrence. It is your choice to make. Uh, I know it's an extra extraordinary burden to bear. I also know that you will do with the right thing. I... No way. No freaking way. It's no wonder why he goes to prison. Addison is right, Sal. This must be done. I'm so sorry. I wish there was another way. Oh, my God. I don't feel well. Would you help me get into my apartment, Sal, please? Oh, my God. This is insane. I mean, to be fair, they do look beyond saving. Sally Face, have you seen our little Todd around? We need to talk to him. Nope, you did. Holy crap, man. This was a twist. Like, is this real? Really? Even them? Hey, dude, Glad decided to come back. Now we can really get this party started. Oh! No, this is awful, dude. This ain't even right. Okay, you know what? Seeing the doll makes this a little easier. Hey, uh, Sal, Yin's feeling around. I think there's something going around. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. 
Oh no, come on. No, not soda. Anyone but soda. Like, can we just like treat this like Itachi? Right? Can you just like can you just maybe spare soda? Sowie face, can I wide on your shoulder? No, 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 no. No, are you kidding me? Okay, you know what? I don't even feel bad. I don't even feel bad that Sally Face is in prison. Like, no. We're just literally going off of what that freaking Terrence said. Well, you're dead. I'm sorry. You're dead. You're dead. Everyone's dead. This was so unexpected, dude. Oh. Bro, come on. What is this? Freaking Naruto situation here. Hey, kiddo, there's some leftover lasagna in, if you're hungry. You know, I'm, I may not say this enough, but I'm proud of you, Sal. They're just, they're just staring at me with my freaking knife in the hand. I guess that kind of tells the whole story, like, how they're not normal, huh? Because they, they're not even worried about, like, well, how we look. You've come a long way, and I know it hasn't been easy. I look at you now, and I'm excited about the man you are becoming. I think you've, be, you've got a bright future ahead of you. I really do. I love you, buddy. Oh. Well, at least the cat's not here, right? What happened to Todd? Something is wrong. I blacked out in the treehouse and woke up in the temple. They had me tied down. There was something else there. I think it was the demon. They cut me and took my blood. Some of my blood. There was a loud sound and I passed out again. When I came to, they were gone and I was untied. I don't feel right, Sal. Oh, so we know that he survives. Okay, this makes more sense now. Oh. Maybe, yeah, maybe they're actually right. They're like, they're not going to be normal. And they're probably going to infect other people. But still, man. What the, wait, look at the note. It says, it can't rain all the time. You know, I did get crow vibes from this. Just because of the fact, like, he play, gu plays guitar and, like, that's a, I'm pretty sure if that's what, if that really does say it can't rain all the time, that's a, a reference to the movie The Crow. So it's a good movie. I think I'm dying. But so, like, that's so jacked. Oh, man. And it's no wonder why Allison was the, acting the way she, like, she betrayed us. For a good reason. Like, you can't justify this. It was around 3 a.m. when I got the next phone call from Todd. He was crying so hard that I could barely make out what he was saying. I knew Todd and Sal were in trouble and they were at the apartment. It sounded serious, so I called the police and rode over there right away. I got there just as the police showed up. On my way in the front door, I saw Todd running into the woods. I called out for him, but he just kept running. I approached the building and Sal was standing in the doorway, covered in blood, just uh, staring out. He was mumbling the same thing over. I had no choice. I had to do it. There wasn't any other way. I, cried, I tried to talk to him, but he was unresponsive. The cops pulled me away before I got any closer to him. Sal isn't, Sal isn't an evil man. He's not a bad person. He just needs help. Oh, God. I really need to know what happens in Chapter 5 now. Uh, Dr. Anon, you've handled Mr. Fisher's uh, psychiatric assessment during his time in prison, including several months of therapy sessions. Is this correct? Yes, that is correct. And what have you concluded from your time with the defendant? It is my professional opinion that Sal Fisher is perfectly sane and was 100% lucid while he proceeded to murder the occupants of Addison Apartments. The elaborate story he concocted is simply that, a story. A tale to make him out to be the hero rather than the villain. He was so convincing that I even began to believe his story. I went out to the apartments to visit the treehouse and Sal requested there was nothing there at all. In fact, the further I poked into a story, the more inconsistencies there were. These inconsistencies, along with all the contradicti contradictory evidence, proved to me that Sal is not delusional, but simply lying to protect himself. That's just because he couldn't see Larry. In your opinion, is Sal Fisher a threat to the public? Absolutely, without a doubt. Well, I mean, I can see why they believe that. I can't even blame them. You can't even blame them. Like, how do you convince someone? You just, you just can't. Members of the jury, have you reached a verdict? Yes, Your Honor, we have reached a verdict. 
guilty, right? In the case of South Fisher versus the County of Knockville, what do you say? What say you? The members of this jury find the defendant guilty of first degree mass. I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> I agree with the jury on the verdict of guilt, be of, and because of the severity of the crime committed, I hereby sentence Sal Fisher to receive capital punishment. No, you can't do it! He's sick! He needs our help! So Ashley's at least still on her side, you know? Order, order in the courts! I mean, this, like, we look like a murderer, right? Like, it just doesn't help our case at all. Three years later, Ashley had tried in almost every way she could think of to prevent Sal's execution and failed with each attempt. Now she sits in her living room as the news reveals that today is the day Sal will be executed. A deep sad sadness washes over her. It's uh, then that an idea comes to Ash that could change everything, though she'd have to act fast. Is this, is this the start of Chapter 5? It's gotta be. Yeah. So we're gonna be playing as freaking Ashley then. Larry, are you here? Please, dude, if you're here to show yourself, we need to help Sal. He's in trouble. I brought some of your old uh, music. If this doesn't work. <laughs> what are these speakers? If this doesn't work, then this is the last time I'm coming up here. Larry? Ugh. Holy freaking crap. Hey, Ash, you guys were telling the truth this whole time? Well, yeah, I, I knew it. Well, I had my doubts, obviously, but I really uh, wanted to believe it. Just don't fall out of the treehouse, okay? Uh, never mind. How are we going to help Sal? I have a plan. Just hold still for a second. Oh, that's bright. Oh, she actually is going to take a picture to prove it. Okay. The freaking music, though. Dang. That's proof. Yes, I got it. I don't know if I should be ending the episode or not. I only wanted to do a chapter at a time, but... Will she make it in time? Go faster. Oh, I'm, I'm doing this. I didn't realize I was controlling it. Crap. Do a wheelie. Let's get in the wrong lane. That'll help. I'm afraid you're too late, honey. You're strapping. They're strapping him in now. Holy crap. Are you serious? Wait, he was telling the truth. I have proof, please. Yo, this is a conspiracy, man. You have to wait. Just let me show you what I found. No. No! Hey! No. No! Oh, no! This is a crazy chapter! No! Oh, sorry. Time of death, 6.33 p.m. Sal, oh god, no. Oh, I think I got the bad ending, guys. What? Loving life, loving wife to Herman Sanderson. Oh, it's the whole family, man. Rot in Pieces, 1969? Silva, Morrison, Chug, Soda, oh not Soda, I can't. Dang man, hey Chug, miss you dude. This is so sad, Larry, Son of Lisa, they never find, they never did find Larry's body. Yeah, what did happen? Like, they never explained. Lisa John Fisher, mother of Larry Johnson, wife of Henry Fisher. Lisa was always so nice to me. She treated me like family. Husband of Lisa uh, Johnson uh, Fisher. Father to Sal Fisher. I can't imagine how much this hurt Sal. 
son of he Henry and Diane Fisher, 1976-2004. Oh, so... Okay, so this is like... Freaking five years after it happened. I wish you were here, Sal. Yo, the fact that they would freaking like... After what he did, bury him here, like, kind of, kind of crazy. Sorry, I haven't visited you in a few nights. Things have gotten worse. What now? It's been five months since Todd escaped from the institution. Okay, so that's where it's going to end there. Um, I feel like this is the beginning of the, of the new chapter. Okay, yeah. That was definitely, this is the beginning of chapter 5. Okay, I'm glad I stopped here. I would have never guessed that this game was going in this direction. Now, like, you know, I, I've been, I've, I've been interested to see what's going to happen, but dang. That is crazy. Guys, yeah, smash like for episode 5. I, um, I really want to know what, how this story ends. Really good. Guys, uh, yeah, as always, uh, watch the other episodes if you missed them, and I'll see you scrubs in the next one. Yeah, and I don't know if we should go back to, for that code, so, I don't know, man. All right, until next time, bye-bye.